can't see me. Let's go. What up, what, what, what up, y'all? You can't see me. Here today, back again. You already know what it is. Today, I am here with a nice little photography haul. Yes, I'm going to be opening a lot of accessories and things. And of course, the ADD by Canon. So, there was a huge, huge sale on uh, Black Friday and actually the whole week that Canon had. And it was a deal I couldn't pass up. So, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. If you are a photographer, hey, leave me some tips in the comments, some suggestions. If you like the ADD, the 70D, the, the Mark series, or Nikon, or if you're into the Sony, the mirrorless, hey, let me know in the comments and um, give me some suggestions, okay? Um, or even some of the better shooting tips, all right? Oh, and make sure that you like and follow me on social media. I am on Twitter. I am on Facebook. Um, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram on game days. I like to comment about the games. Uh, I shoot out little pictures. So check me out. You know, hey, we can start the conversation about who the Panthers are playing or who your team is playing, okay? All right. So we're going to get into this. I got to get in the position a little bit so I can be in the frame good. Ah. Oh, I need a knife. I need a knife. Uh, where am I going to get a knife from? Ah. That's a knife. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're gonna open first. Um, let's start with the Amazon. And be careful when you're using this knife. This isn't for kids, all right? So one of the accessories I got for uh, the ADD is this newer grip. It's a battery grip. So I have one for my 70D. I actually have it on there right now. So I'm going to open this up. We'll look at this really quick. Um, but you can get you a good battery grip. It extends your battery life. The good thing about this grip is... <laughs> is we can put two batteries in it. So instead of you just having one, you have two. Of course, it's more life. This is just a... This is a cartridge for... Uh, Regular batteries, not rechargeables. Uh, but the main one is rechargeable batteries. And so it opened up right here. You put your rechargeables in there, and bam, you're good to go. Uh, so let's see. So I also bought a dual USB charger from New from New Mova. This was a super expensive. It was maybe like ten bucks, you know, ten ninety nine. Um, it's a dual charger for the battery. So. They'll give you a battery charger, but you only have one. So when you start having extra batteries, you know, you tend to run out. So, let's see, can you see that? So this is a dual charger. And then I ordered a couple extra batteries, and I'll probably order a few more. The stock one usually doesn't have the milliamps. And let me uh, suggest this. When you buy extra batteries, look at the MAH, okay? Um, that's the, the power, the milliamps, I believe. Correct me if that's wrong, if it isn't milliamps. So basically, this is a 2750. Most of the people that you look at will be selling 2400 um, or 2300, 2200. You have to search 2750 to get the one that'll get you the most battery life, all right? You'll buy some and then it'll be a 1900 uh, milliamp and then it's going dead all quick and you don't know why. So definitely look for, uh, or look at that 2750 MAH. That's the largest one I found for this type of camera, okay? So I gotta get the one for the camera charging and these two, which I'll be using. Um, I only have one backup right now, but that should get me through because I have four batteries for my 70D that I'm using to record this right now, all right? Since this one is smaller, we'll go with the smaller box, all right? Okay. So these I ordered from B&H. Okay, so when you're doing uh, video photography, they have these things called soft boxes. Soft boxes help to control the light. Um, it helps so that your flash doesn't flash uh, so brightly. It helps to kind of dissipate the light more, spread it around smoothly so you don't get these hard shadows behind you. These are from Velo. It's a universal, universal it's specifically called a universal bounce diffuser. And then this is a mini soft box. So let's set those to the side. All righty, all righty. I got a flash that I'm about to pull out, but this is a TTL flash cord. It will allow you to control your flash off of your camera. Now, this camera has wireless, 
And the flash I got is wireless as well, but I wanted the cord just in case. I always have a backup just in case the wireless is failing. Okay, so I bought a custom bracket. It's a CB folding T. And what this bracket does, I'll also put that up on the screen right there. Um, what this bracket does is it gets the flash off the camera, what I was just speaking about. Um, and when you're shooting, you shoot landscape and you shoot portrait. But when you shoot portrait, the flash is on the side of the body, so it casts these hard shadows. You don't want that in your pictures. You got to try to fix it in Photoshop or in Lightroom, and it's really difficult to get that out. So this is a very good flash bracket. It's from Custom Brackets. They're an American company. It's made in the U.S. Uh, it has a professional look. It folds down, compact shot, fits in this box. So that's easy for uh, traveling or for putting in your bag. But I bought a secondary one. This one's only 20 bucks. This one is almost 80 bucks, okay? Uh, this one is from Velo as well. Velo made those light boxes. Um, and once again, this is a rotating flash bracket. It eliminates red eye and it's compatible with most cameras. So I'm going to see what the real difference is between the, the $20 version and the $80 version, okay? And I may do a comparison and a contrast to let you know if it's worth it to invest this much here or if you can get away with this cheaper model. And this one will go on my secondary uh, camera, and I'm going to put this on the primary. So uh, Yangyo, Yangyo is the company that makes the speed light. That's the flash. I'm not saying flash, but it's the speed light. It's the flashes that flash very quickly and don't have a, a long warm-up time, at least until the battery starts dying. So this is a wireless transmitter for the speed light. And this is the actual speed light, okay? So this is the one I had before. It's the YN562 Yongyo. This is the YN600ES RT2. This is wireless. Um, it works a lot better. Of course, it's newer, it's faster. Uh, everything about it has improved upon the other versions. They model these after Canon flashes or Canon or uh, Nikon, whichever one you're getting. But I believe mostly Canon. So they're very good quality. They do run through batteries. I, I will say that. They, they run through batteries and it takes about, I think, four of them. We're gonna take this out. We move this box now that we're done with the dock. They always give it to you with the nice case. Now some give you give, even have a battery pack with certain other brands, but also it has more of a digital. This one is digital. You know, it has a digital readout, but it's that old school look. This one is a lot newer from what it looks. So the YN600EX and the YN560, both are the second version of Speedlight. But once again, this one works wirelessly and if it's compatible with your camera. But I went ahead and bought a wireless transmitter to go with it just so I wouldn't have to. Um, I want to take this out. I'm going to go ahead and take it out uh, just in case it didn't work with the camera. But if your camera does have wireless functionality, this new one will work with it. This is the wireless transmitter, so it communicates directly with this one. It may work with both of them. I don't know. Um, I'm going to see if it'll send. And if it flashes with both of them, that will be awesome. That'll be great. But if it doesn't, what I thought of doing is using this one with the camera, if it works wirelessly, or with the transmitter. I just want to make sure I have all my bases covered, whether it's the transmitter or the cord. But then I make this the slave and this the master. So when this one flashes, this one will flash as well. And everything will shoot. And then they also have a cord with it. It's some type of USB cord. So uh, just in case you need to connect it directly to the camera, you can. So we're going to sit these over here. And we're going to get to the last thing. All right. So now we're about to get to the meat of the potatoes. That's what I've been waiting on. That's what I've been waiting on. All right. Let's see what's in this bad boy. Actually, they, because they sent it so fast and I got it at work, I uh, had to deliver to work, I wasn't sure what it was. So I went ahead and opened it to make sure. And, uh, yeah. Uh, kids, cut away. Cut away, kids. Now, this was refurbished, so it may not have the box. All right, 
so the box says ESO Power Shot Vixia, but that's not what's in here. It was a refurb, uh, hence partly why the discount was so great. Here's the book for the ESO ADD. This is the ADD, ADD, ADD. Now with it, instead of getting the stock uh, 18 to 55 lens, it actually came with an 18 to 135. So I was like, whoa, and you get a, a better stock camera with it. Um, so that actually helped with that price. And excuse me, that may be 17 to 55. So yeah, it has a longer zoom than just that 55 millimeter. And you still get the 18 with that width. This is a nice lens. It got some, uh, some nice size to it. It's heavy. I mean, yo, this is a lot better uh, than what you normally get stock. So thank you. Uh, that was a great deal coming with this. I get a couple pops in there. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. All right. So this is the Canon 80D. Oh, it's nice. It's quite an upgrade from the 70D. It feels a little smaller, although I, once again, keep the battery grip on it. And so the battery grip will go in here. Um, it has four more megapixels than the 70D. Um, it has 24, where well, the 70D had 20. Um, it also shoots in 60 frames per second, 1080p. The 70 was limited to uh, 30 frames per second. So that's a great upgrade. It doesn't shoot 4K, unfortunately. Um, but I'm not shooting 4K yet. I'll upgrade to that in the near future when I make more money that can pay for that type of upgrade. Um, but it does have a headphone jack on the side. The 70D doesn't have a headphone jack, so I actually can't monitor the sound. Um, you just kind of got to know that it's working. You'll add a mic or like I have a Go uh, Pro on there for my sound. This one has a headphone jack, so they added that. Uh, but ultimately, it improves upon the technology, of course, in every way. Uh, the technology always gets better. The components uh, get more efficient. So I'm just really happy to have this. So I just wanted y'all to see me open this. I won't go all into it. Yo, you want a lot of specs and things of that nature. I can put them in the description. Uh, you can go to Canon and check that out. But I just wanted to show you this. I'm really, really happy with this. I'm going to throw my lens on. I'm going to start charging these batteries because I have a photo shoot tonight. All right. And if you want to see some of my photography, I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, show you some of the photo shoots I had. I just did a photo shoot for a turkey trot on Thanksgiving. So you can see some of that and some of the other uh, shoots that I've done recently, all right? You can see me, Canon 80D, and a big photo haul. <laughs> Lots of different accessories and uh, different components for photography, all right? So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Tumblr. I'm on about everything. Just look up You Can't See Me Gamer, okay? And, um. Thank you for stopping through and I'll continue to do unboxings and just show off technology that I have and give whatever advice and tips I can share. What I know, I'll share with you, all right? So thank you for stopping through. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, all right? And above all things, make your next move your best move, all right? Peace. You can't see me. Let's go. Thank you for checking me out at You Can't See Me TV. I'm You Can't See Me Gamer. Please like and subscribe to stay updated and check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, peace.